Okay, so today we're going to be doing long division involving a zero. And we're going to get to that just in a minute and how the zero is affected. So right now we have 4,554 divided by 9. So once again, we need to rewrite this in the way that we're actually able to do the equation. So we go 4,554 and we put our symbol and we divide it by 9. So the big number always goes to the inside of our symbol. So, once again, uh, we're going to break this up into different sections. So, we have to ask ourselves, how many groups of 9 is going to go into 4? And as you can see here, no groups of 9 can go into 4 because 4 is smaller than 9. So, this involves partially a 0. And our 0 goes up on top over the 4. So we know that the answer is going to be less than 1,000. So what are we going to do? Now we're going to deal with the next digit. And instead of doing with a single digit, we're going to deal with a two-digit number. So we have the number here, 45. So we're going to ask ourselves, how many groups of 9 can go into 45? Or 9 times blank is going to equal to or be close to 45 as possible. In this case, it is 5. So our 5 goes up on top right next to the 0 in the hundreds column. And 9 times 5 is 45. And now the next step, we subtract it. And 45 minus 45 is 0. All right. Now, the next step, you're going to bring down the 5 next to the 0. So we're dealing with the next digit, which is in the tens column. And right now, we have 5. And this is where the 0 gets involved in long division. Because our next step is we're going to repeat. How many groups of 9 can go into 5? But for this case, the 9 is too big. You cannot put 9 groups into 5. So, what does that mean? Simply put, no groups or 0 groups can go into 5. So, we put a 0 up on top next to the 5 in our answer. So, because no groups of 9 can go into 5, we have to think none equals 0. It's the same thing. So, we have now dealt with the 5. What you're going to do next now is you have to bring down the next digit, which is 4. And the 4 is going to go next to the 5 in the answer. And now we can do the next phase, which is how many groups of 9 can go into 54? Or 9 times blank is going to equal 54 or be close to 54 as possible. For this case, 9 times 6 actually equals 54. So the 6 goes next to the 0. And we do our 54 under the other 54. And now we subtract it. And we have 0. So we have no remainder. So the key here is, and the division that's involving a 0 is the step that involved when we brought down the 5. And that no groups of 9 can go into 5. So if no groups of 9 can go into 5 or any other number, you have to put a 0 into your answer. And then you can proceed to the next step.